Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to make a three-dimensional art project using watercolor paint, some sand, some sea creatures, some seashells, some foam fish, a sand dollar, some shells, and some aquarium rocks. And I've already painted the canvas to kind of speed up the project a little bit, but I did use watercolor paints and then I painted that. And then I also added some plain sand and I'm using tacky glue on this this time. So if you like my channel, give it a thumbs up with all my neat projects I do. So I'm going to use some tacky glue here and I'm going to fill in this area here with some rocks. I'm also gonna put some more over here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the, the tacky glue and then I'm spreading it out a little bit with my finger just to spread it out so it's not as chunky on there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take some of the aquarium rocks and move it over a little bit so you can see. And then I'm gonna put them on the tacky glue that I just put on. So it's gonna give it a 3D effect. And again, I'm not gonna, you know, glue all of the rocks and stuff because I'm gonna make it a really long video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of show you how I'm gluing them on and then I'll continue on with the other things that I'm putting on. So as you can see, I put the, th the rocks over here for the 3D part, and then using just plain old tacky glue. And like I said, again, that's just sand. So as you can see, I've got the three, the, kind of a 3D effect going on right now. So I'm going to glue on these sticks that have some gold glitter on them that I picked up somewhere along the line. And I'm gonna put them just on here. And I'm actually gonna put the crazy glue onto them. So that way they do stick a little bit better and try to try and just spread it out and get it on. So I'm using a pretty thick layer of the crazy glue. And again, you can use whatever you have around your house to make a picture. Like I said, these are some branches, plastic branches that I had from another project that has some gold glitter on them that I'm using as coral or ocean props, I guess. So as you can see, I glued that on and that's gonna be there. I have another one, so I'm gonna glue that one over here on this side. And I'm actually gonna put it at like an angle as well. And again, I'm putting the glue on that so that way it sticks a little bit better. Flip it over, kind of get it so it sticks down. So if, if you're liking my channel, ring that bell so you know when I put out some new videos. I'm actually gonna set the bag of rocks on here just to kind of hold this one down since it's having a little bit of trouble sticking just because it's up a little bit. The other one is sticking really good. So now I'm gonna take my sand doll, uh, sorry, starfish. I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of the starfish as well. And these are just stuff that you can find, you know, like at Hobby Lobby, you know, any of your craft stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Okay, so I put some glue on the bottom there. So I'm gonna stick it on as well, just onto the board. These little fish are foam, so they're actually very light as well. So I'm gonna put some glue just in the middle of those, just to give it so they're not too far up. And I'm just gonna stick them randomly on it as well. No particular order. Here's another 
foam fish. I have a little plastic crab, which I'm gonna put down here towards the bottom, just because crabs are bottom dwellers usually. So I'm gonna put that one a little bit down here towards the bottom on my thing. I also have a little plastic lobster that I'm gonna glue down towards the bottom as well. I have some little scallop shells that I'm gonna glue on as well, pretty close to the bottom again, because oysters and stuff stay closer towards the bottom of a ocean there. And again, it doesn't have to be any, you know, particular way you do it, glue it, just whatever you feel comfortable. My sand dollar, I'm going to kind of put it so it's leaning up onto the fake coral that I put on over here. So I'm gonna kind of put that up that way. And again, you can get the most of these things at like Hobby Lobby, Dollar Store, you know, just depending on where you buy your crafts. And then I have some really small little seashells that I'm gonna put around as well. These are like little small hermit crab shells, I guess you could call them. And again, kind of towards the bottom. And like I said, I put sand down at the bottom already. And I'm going to put some more little fish. I'm actually going to lift this up here. I know it's, it's having a hard time with sticking here. You, do, you just got to make sure it has enough weight to stick it. But I'm going to show you here. So this fish, I'm going to kind of have going the opposite direction here. Have him coming out of the coral there. So again, it's all about your imagination to what you can create. And like I said, a lot of these things I actually got donated to me. Um, so I decided I'd make them into a 3D type of board. I'm gonna put this little fish down over on this side, another little foam fish. So if you like what I did, hit that sub subscribe bell, um, subscription as well. And I look forward to making some more projects that you can enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.